Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice math problem, which is 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 raised to the power of 12. So let's provide a solution from here. Now, the first step is we write x to be equal to 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. And this implies that we need to determine what is x to the power of 12. Now, since we have x, which is 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2, the first step here is to multiply both sides by 2. So that we have here, we have 2x, 2 and 2 here simplifies. So that we have 2x, this is equal to 1 plus square root of 5. Let's call this equation 1. Now let's take 1 on the left hand side so that we have 2x minus 1. This is equal to square root of 5. So the next step is to square both signs. So let's square both signs from here. So that now 2x minus 1 to the power of 2. This is in the form of a minus b raised to the power of 2. This is the same thing as x, that is a squared plus b squared minus 2ab. Applying this algebraic identity, then here we have 2x squared. This is 4x squared. Then we have minus 4x. Then minus 1 squared, this is plus 1. This is equal to square root of 5 to the power of 2. We eliminate the square root side, so this is equal to 5. The next step is to take 5 on the left-hand side, so that we have 4x squared minus 4x, then plus 1, minus 5. This is equal to 0. So we have 4x squared minus 4x plus 1 minus 5 this is minus 4 this is equal to 0 we have that 4 is common here we can factor out 4 so that we have 4 into the parentheses we have x squared minus x minus 1 cross the parentheses this is equal to 0 so let's divide both signs by 4 so that now 4 and 4 here simplifies so that we have x squared minus x minus 1. This is equal to 0 defined by 4. This is 0. The next step is that let's take minus x minus 1 on the right hand side so that we have x squared. This is equal to x plus 1. Let's call this equation 2. Now we have x squared is equal to x plus 1. And if you recall, we have that we have to determine what is x to the power of 12. But we know that x to the power of 12, this is the same thing as x to the power of 2 raised to the power of 6. Now, we can express x to the power of 2 to the power of 6 again here as x to the power of 2 raised to the power of 3, they can express x to the power of 2 to the power of 6 as x to the power of 2 to the power of 3, then raised to the power of 2 here, which is the same thing as x to the power of 2, it, we have it as x plus 1. So we have x plus 1, then raised to the power of 2, then raised to the power of 3. So, we have here x plus 1 raised to the power of 2, then raised to the power of 3. So, x plus 1 raised to the power of 2, remember this is in the form of a plus b raised to the power of 2, which we can express as a squared plus b squared, then plus 2ab. Applying this algebraic identity, then here we have x squared plus 2x then plus 1 raised to the power of 3. 
x squared again, this is what we have in equation 2, which is x plus 1. So let's substitute this. So here we have x plus 1 plus 2x plus 1, cross the parentheses, raised to the power of 3. So x plus 2x, this is 3x, then 1 plus 1, this is 2. So we have 3x plus 2 raised to the power of 3. So 3x plus 2 raised to the power of 3, this is in the form of a to the power of 3, which is the same thing as a squared times a to the power of 1. If you say a squared times a to the power of 1, this is the same thing as a to the power of 3. So this means that we can express this as 3x plus 2 raised to the power of 2, then multiplying by 3x plus 2 raised to the power of 1. 3x plus 2 to the power of 2, this again is in the form of a plus b to the power of 2, which you can express as a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. So this means that here we have 3x raised to the power of 2, this is the same thing as 9x to the power of 2, then plus, here we have 12x, then plus 2 squared, which is 4, then everything here, multiplying by 3x plus 2. But if you recall x squared, we have that x squared is the same thing as x plus 1. So let's substitute this. So here we have 9 multiplied by x plus 1, then plus 12x, then plus 4, cross the parentheses, everything multiplied by 3x plus 2. Now this implies that here we have, let's open the parentheses here, we have 9x, 9 times x is 9x, plus 9 times 1, this is 9, then plus 12x, then plus 4, cross the parentheses, everything here multiplied by 3x plus 2. So we have 9x plus 12x, this is the same thing as 21x, then plus 9 plus 4, this is 13, cross the parentheses, multiplied by 3x plus 2. So here we have 21x plus 13 multiplied by 3x plus 2. So this is the same thing as 21x multiplied by 3x plus 2, then plus 13 multiplied by 3x plus 2. So let's open the parentheses here. 21x multiplied by 3x, this is equal to 63x squared, then plus 21x times 2, this is 42x, then plus 13 times 3x, this is 39x, then plus 13 times 2, this is 26. So here we have 63 multiplied by x squared. If you recall, x squared is the same thing as x plus 1 from equation 2. So we have 63 multiplied by x plus 1 then plus 42x plus 39x, this is equal to 81x, then plus 26. So let's open the parentheses here, 63 times x, this is 63x, plus 63 times 1, this is 63, then plus 81x, then plus 26. The next step is that we have 63x plus 81x. This is equal to 144x. Then plus 63 plus 26. This is the same thing as 89. Now, the next step from here, remember this is, we are, we are solving x to the power of 12. This is equal to 144x plus 89. If you recall, if you recall, we are saying that let x be equal to 
1 plus square root of 5 over 2. So let's quickly substitute the value of x so that now we have x to the power of 12. This is equal to 144 multiplied by 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 then plus 89. So that now Let's simplify, let's simplify 144 divided by 2, this is 72, so that now we have x to the power of 12, this is equal to 72, into the parenthesis 1 plus square root of 5 plus 89. So let's open the, the parenthesis here, we have 72 times 1, this is 72 then plus 72 times square root of 5, this is 72, square root of 5, then plus 89. 72 plus 89, this is the same thing as 161, then plus, we have 72 times square root of 5, this is the same thing as 160.9969. And this implies that here, 161 plus 160.9969, this is the same thing as 321.9969. And this is what we have as x to the power of 12. Now, this implies that 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 raised to the power of 12 this is equal to 321.9969. So this is the solution to this math problem. So can you follow the steps? Like this video. If you have alternative methods to solve this, country don't hesitate to showcase in the comment section. Follow the steps, like this video and see you in the next video. Bye bye for now.